Yeah, psychics. They just thing. lie to you. Mm-hmm. It's called cold reading. Yeah. I just watched Chris, An- Chris Angel telling Steve-O about it. They cold read Steve-O? Yeah, you ever seen like those no, mentalists he just, before? He was, just, he was just saying that like I, I can explain anything that these guys do. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You ever, you ever seen like any of those mentalists? Yeah. Uh, like, yeah. Like they read like micro facial expressions and shit like that and that's how they figure out what's what is the truth about oh. which is, that's why those guys like if you ever like those mentalist guys that's why they always list things like so and wait till it makes sense for you right so, yes. it'll be, so they'll be like they'll be like um i can figure out the pin number to your debit card and then it'll be and then they'll look at you and it'll be like one two three four five seven eight nine ten and then you'll make a face at one of the numbers and then it'll be like okay the first number is three and then it'll do it again one two three four five seven eight nine ten and they'll be like, Ooh, the second number is six you know what I'm saying? Yeah. like they're just looking at the the small little twitches in your face and they're like, okay, that means something to him. That number means something to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And people just want to talk about themselves as much as they can. Yes. So if you're like, anybody in the crowd going through something right now, they're like, oh, I'm going through something right yeah. now. Yeah. 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 That's crazy, bro. Though my dad used to say that about me. He said it's going to be my downfall. And he probably right. What? Spiritual? That, that I tell people my business too much. He was like, you just go out. You like, you just walk outside and just... You just get on a microphone. Yo, and yeah, it's called podcasting, bitch. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Dad, that's, that's what I kind of do for a living now. And he was like, that's dangerous. You letting the whole world know about your life? I'm like, come on, Pop. Right, listen, I never did. It, sometimes your dad puts the, uh, he puts the consequences of his life on you. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yes. Like, I never did any shit that my dad did. I ain't never killed nobody. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, bro, I'm not worried about nobody ca- trying to track me down. Dude, I'm constantly screaming at my kids for not practicing enough. They're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, the second anything becomes a challenge, you get bored with it and put it down. Yeah. And they're, just like, <laughs> they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? What? <laughs> Forget about it. Brush your teeth. Go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yo, I do the same thing with my son, bro. I do the same, literally the same exact thing. You think about what you were shitty at, you'd be like, like God, you're kind of doing that thing you now. Make me Stop fucking it, sick man. You're showing me the worst parts of myself. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Dog, the other day I was at my son's game. They was up eight points. It's literally twenty seconds left. He just walking around the court, just looking around and shit. I'm like, yeah, you fucking flies, air here. What the fuck dude. are you doing? You're not, you're not focused at all. And it's like, bro. You say that to him because that's what your dad used to say to you, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all that was. Mm-hmm. Just passing down the fuck, passing the buck. Like, I'm like, Esau, what are you doing? It is funny, though. I got to argue with my daughter about, uh, what's the cups? Stanley cups? Mm-hmm. She's telling me how she, love those things. she's telling me how she's going to save up money to buy a Stanley cup. And I was like, that's so fucking stupid. And she was like, okay. I was like, you what, you're going to allow yourself to be influenced like that? She was like, yeah, I'm choosing to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can make a little bit of money and buy one, and I'm going to do it. And I was just like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I texted her later. I was like, I like how you represented yourself. I'm sorry. I flipped out. Oh, that's the best. It's the best when your kids have integrity, no matter what, no matter what you say. so mad. I would uh, part, half, 50%, I want them to have integrity, and 50%, I want them to shut the fuck up and listen. not make my day feel longer. Yeah, yep. True. Very true, bro. Though my son, my son's girl broke up with him because he had some. He was talking to some other girl that like went to the same school as her. Ooh. And she's his girlfriend. Both my girlfriends go to a different school. He's fucking stupid <laughs> as hell. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, both of them go to a different school. Right. You wouldn't know them. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ah. But here go the thing. So then he had a game at that school. So that both the girls was there. And he got caught, of course. No. <laughs> his girlfriend. Oh and my I, god! Did he try to run back and forth between them? <laughs> yeah, bro. He's the dumbest shit ever, bro. He text. He was texting both of them during the game. Was he also playing on both teams? <laughs> <laughs> Changing jerseys. Really <laughs> like, <laughs> hell yeah! And I'm like, bro, you're fucking. That's just the dumbest shit ever. I'm like, why would you fucking do that? And I said, but look, I said, this is how you can get her back. I said, dog. All you gotta do is play sad guy. Play sad guy. Like, I just got so much going on in my life. I got Make basketball. Your voice shake. I got fucking school. Just so I got so much coming at me at one time. Like, I just made one mistake. I just got so much happening in my life right now. Like, my teachers want me to fail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yo. My teachers trying to prove something. Varsity. Yes. No, he was like, you I can keep them that. both in your life at the same time. They just these are your next two baby mamas. <laughs> <laughs> and he got her for the next 18 yes. years. So, but I gave him that. I'm like, yo, you got to sound sad. You got to fucking. And he was like, what? 
He was like, Dad, that's gay. I'm never doing that. He was like, if she don't want to be with me no more, oh well. And I was like, oh, all right. Yeah, I was like, my dude, bad. Fine, dude. Whatever. I'm like, oh, you're you're that much cooler than me. Yeah, okay, yeah. I didn't know. I wasn't aware. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> when I was your age, that's what I would have did. I'd have played sad, but okay, fine. Yeah, sorry I played by the rules. Yeah, right. If, you're supposed to, if your girl breaks up with you, you have to act sad. You got to do some groveling, man. Yeah. It's you, good for you. Right. It'll you be humble like, Fuck you. Her. That's crazy to say. For. And it might, bro. My that's a romantic version of getting punched in the face. You yes. need that to happen. You do. You, you have need to, to crawl back. You need to go, it's, just, it's not even who I am. I'm just going to you fucking recognize myself right now. <laughs> you have to. But what's so crazy is that his way worked, and she was like, why aren't you, like, calling me like a pop? He was like, I mean, if you don't want to be with me, you don't want to be with I don't me. give a fuck. Yeah, yo. And then she got back Shut with him. Up. I'm like, bro, you just taught me some shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the move I'm doing next time a girl break up yeah. with me. What? That's crazy. I'm going to just act like I don't give a fuck. That's like the force lightning. It's like that's that's gonna corrupt him, dude. He's gonna look like the emperor from Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Those are dark. I mean, yeah, that stuff is effective and it works quickly. But come on, man, that's a yeah. path to darkness. That is a path of darkness. That's true. Then he just starts walking around with a fucking hood with a uh, fucking cloak with wizard sleeves and oh, shit. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> just breaking up with random bitches. These force <laughs> force choking ladies. <laughs> Make it, force choking fucking making lady suck his meat. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'm going to bust. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the dark side, yeah. bro. Bring me your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Damn. You know, he needs to go hang out in the swamp with Yoda and get pissed off. <laughs> yeah, he does. You're he right. needs to go be an incel in the woods with the goblin. You're right. <laughs> He's way too cool, bro. You're right. We was watching a T-Mobile commercial, and it was the girl with the big ass titties, the white girl. With the nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's me and my friends during the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl last year, um, and the commercial comes on. We watching it. And me, you know, we got so me and my friends like, damn, that's the she you know she bad as shit. Look at her titties huge. Like what the fuck? And my son looks at me and my grown ass friends, and he's like, damn, dad, like y'all damn bad. Y'all can't even watch a commercial and chill. I said, whoa, <laughs> you must be hornier than us. Well, big tits are gay now. Yeah, like what? I can't be hype about big titties. That's crazy. He's like, y'all damn bad. I'm like, what? It's like, yo, I have a job, dude. I make money. Yeah, I'm allowed to get pumped on tits. I can get hype about titties, bro. <laughs> And you're my son. If I wasn't yeah. about titties, you wouldn't even be here. Your mom got huge ones. You see what I'm yeah. saying? You need someone to fucking sign your report card. Shut up. <laughs> right. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, like you can't out cool me, bro. Yeah. You're only here because I was cool and got pussy. Say she's saying? bad or you can't go to the Franklin Institute. Yeah. I swear to God. She's, yeah. she's better. You're grounded, <laughs> mister. You better say it. And don't come downstairs. Mm -hmm. I hear you up there. Say she's got fucking rocking tits now. Say it. You better fucking say it. <laughs> Yeah, bro, that's crazy, though. You can't let your kids out-cool you. No, but you need them to, you know? It's actually, it's a painful death. It's a painful, slow death watching them slowly outperform you and outthink you oh and outcool you. God. And you go, no, but I know more. I, this, I used to watch this person shit their pants all the time. Yep. And then eventually they're just quicker than you, and you go, oh, no, I'm yep. nothing. I should fucking be in the ground now. I should, <laughs> I'm I should be covered in dirt. <laughs> Yo, you're right. He's 100 percent right. It every is a time, slow death. Every time I, every time I see them, like even catch up to me a little bit, I go, oh, it feels like a like a fucking a candle went out. <laughs> yes, in bro. the cave of my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, it's 100 percent true. No, we sparred. It's the best. We sparred like three months ago, and he caught me with a nice straight right hand. The best punch he ever caught me with in his entire life. And when I say. I turned up way too hard. I did. I went way too hard. You got to let him know. I had to let him know. And I went way too fucking hard. And afterwards, he was like, Dad, like, he was like, what, what, you mad at me about something? I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not mad. And he was like, you never hit me that hard before. He was like, anytime we sparred, you never hit me like that. He was like, you, like is everything okay? I said, I said, son, everything's fine. And in my head, I was like, I should tell him. I should tell him. I should tell him. And I'm like, I can't. I can't let him know yeah. that he rocked me. You know what I'm saying? Like, he fucking rocked. Like, like that yeah. shit right here. I was like, oh. oh. And in my head, I was like, all right, I can't grab him because then he's going to know that he rocked me. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, so I got to just, just I gotta plant your feet and, and, yes, and bang. You got to bang. And I started banging and I backed him up and I was like, all right, now I got enough time to get my brain right. You know what I'm saying? But I, I'm like, I can't tell him. 
But then, like, two days later, he was in the car, and he was like, Dad, we cool, right? I said, yeah, we good, son. He like, he like, I'm just thinking, like, the other day, you was hitting me like you hated me. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to tell, tell you something. I'm like, I was going to back off. I thought you were dizzy or winded, and then you uh, yeah, just yeah. fucking planted one <laughs> right. right in the kisser. Yeah. I was like, son. Yeah, we were on the beach playing. Uh, we were throwing a football around and, uh, with Ben, mm. and uh, he's 13. But he's big as fuck, and uh, he's we huge for thirteen. We were getting we were getting physical, trying to intercept, and we were both uh, converging on the ball. And I I, I pushed him down. <laughs> I would I dude I didn't quite truck him, but yeah. he hit the fucking deck. Yo, and he looked up and he went, "I'm 13. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to be like, "That wasn't that hard." <laughs> In my head, I was like, I'm hitting him hard because I want to show him yeah. like the next level. I want to oh, a, a quick peek at the next level. Yeah. <laughs> and he went, I'm 13 years old. <laughs> I was like, you're good. <laughs> yeah. You'll give him a taste of, of real life. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Hell you yeah, want to do the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do the podcast? <laughs> yes, because here at AO Actually, this is where we teach you about all the facts. Everything that you need to know, want to know, didn't know. That's what we do here. Only facts live here. No opinions, no fucking bullshit, no uh, woke feelings and shit like that. We won't do any of that shit over here. Only the facts. And to my very far left, I have the enlightened one, Benjamin Stop. Hello, hello, hello. Ah, and we have a special reappearing Ooh. guest. First reappearing guest in all of history, the fattest, gayest retard we know. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy Butterly, everybody. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's right. Thank you for having me. <laughs> the man's in the building. I'm thank ready you for to, being here. I'm ready. It's a pleasure. I'm ready to get down to business. You got your facts? Bro. I do. I have, I have three facts. You want to start it out? I'm not in love with them, but here's a, at least a, uh, an interesting conversation point. Um, AO, actually, roller coasters were invented to distract Americans from sin. Really? In the eighteen eighty uh in the eighteen eighties, hosiery businessman Lamarcus Thompson. Uh <laughs> what? Lamarcus, Lamarcus in the eighteen eighties? <laughs> Ain't no goddamn Lamarcus in the eighteen eighties. Lamarcus Thompson. <laughs> Lamarcus? <laughs> it's probably a white guy. <laughs> it has to be a white guy, but I didn't know white people named themselves Lam- Lamarcus. Lamarcus Thompson. He and he was a hosiery businessman. What's a hosiery? Oh shit, look at him. That's who. Is that him? Lamarcus? That's Lamarcus, bro. What the hell? <laughs> That's what? the first Lamarcus ever in history. I, and probably he be known for that. That's probably the most recent white Lamarcus. <laughs> That's the only white Lamarcus, bro. Like, what? <laughs> he should be known for being named Lamarcus. Yeah, it's nuts that he got. He does sound very black Lamarcus. on paper. He's Lamarcus and a hosiery. But it's like actually, I just covered a coaster. Like, you can, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this will distract you from sin. <laughs> Lamarcus Thompson. Well, in the 1880s, he hated that Americans were tempted by hedonistic places like saloons and brothels mm, so he true. set out to straighten up one of the most immoral places he could think of Coney Island in New York there he built America's first roller coaster to give New Yorkers some good clean fun away from seedier pastimes what I love roller coasters you know that yeah same I love roller, I love roller coasters and but here's the thing people die on those things you could have just let them go jack off or fuck or whatever they was gonna do do you think he should have invented the jack shack yes 100% what's the jack shack Jack Shack's like a, a shack you get put into not a jack porno, a porno place where you can go and like rent a booth and yeah and jerk off. Mm. It'd be like a naked girl in front of you or some shit. And this guy said, "That's gross. I'm going to engineer a train that goes upside down." <laughs> <laughs> Disgust. I would. I tell you, I would rather risk my own life than mop up cum. <laughs> right. But we gotta stop letting people fuck. Like that, that, on, uh, that is crazy to have someone like get off the roller coaster and be like. So do you ever want to have sex again? They're like, <laughs> kind of. Still. Yeah, I actually want to have way more sex now. Faster. It has to like go faster. Jets, another loop de loop. They're trying to outpace people wanting to fuck. Yo, we got to make it faster. More loops. If you make them dizzy, they won't want to fuck. <laughs> More loops. Dude, yeah, we we get him. We get some G forces in that loop. Where he flush his penis with blood, and the thing <laughs> won't, even, won't even be able to get hard for a couple of weeks. Yeah, we're damn. gonna pop it like a thermometer. <laughs> <laughs> damn, bro. So all hmm. so roller coasters were just made to stop it's us like, from wanting to do sexual things. Yeah. Now, now, okay. Now, remember, it's the 1880s. There's no television yet. Is there radio? Are there lights yet? 
Mm, that's a good question. <laughs> what was it like? The yeah, well, there's no candles, right? <laughs> <coughs> what did they have? There's definitely no television. I don't think there was even radio. Mm-mm. They were probably getting horny fucking telegraphs. Yeah, all they had was brothels back <laughs> then. <Horny> <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! Yo, check out these beeps. <laughs> Yeah, she has dot dash dash dash. Oh, so late eight, so, yeah, so late eighteen eighties, and that was radio just for ships at sea. Yeah, so not even cool yet. Yeah, not cool radio. That was for your uncle no who music. was like, I get to hear the br- newest technology before my ship is sunk in the Pacific mm-hmm. Ocean. This guy was like, yeah, what if you went upside down? Yeah, and he changed. He changed history. <laughs> <laughs> But imagine how horny everybody was back then, bro. You don't got nothing else to do. You that's really, what I'm saying. Yeah, a roller was coaster. Horny. That's like that's like honestly uh, taking a tour of heaven. Being on a roller. First of all, being true, that high in the air, then, going that fast. It wasn't the airplanes. Just unimaginable. Like yeah, true. It's got to feel like God's dragging you through the sky. Hell yeah. The roller coasters probably boring as shit back then, though. Okay, oh, it was probably just it like, wasn't yeah. as fast. Yeah, it wasn't as fast, and they were wooden. I've been on this roller coaster in Coney Island still before. It's still wooden, wooden bro. I've I go, been on that shit before. I go on wooden coaster, coasters. They're thrill rides, dude. First of all, they rock your spine. Uh, actually, right, like, wooden ones do you fuck you up. You get your head on shit in the yeah. wooden ones. Bro. The wooden ones are dangerous. Yeah, you can't fuck if you're concussed. <laughs> <laughs> if, you got, if you got splinters in your temples and you're concussed, good luck getting pussy, dude, from a lady in a burlap you know? dress. <laughs> no, you definitely can't fuck if you get concussed. <laughs> That's the softest my dick ever been is after concussion. <laughs> yeah, for real. I guess he did it though. You can't really sin at a theme park that much. I don't know, dude. I mean, I mean, you could fuck at a theme park if you wanted to. I don't know. There's there's something getting the fucking Latinas lined up at the water park. Goddamn you know? right. You think they're there for the good clean fun, bro? That was always my biggest temptation as a kid. Like you go to Six Flags and just a bunch of Puerto Rican bitches with their asses out, You're just like, being oh, ignorant yeah. as fuck in the hell in yeah. the shin deep pool. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. man, damn! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Doing that kind of fucking mommy waddle, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Clapping those shiny cheeks in the sun. Clapping them cheeks. Standing bro. under the big buckets that's been slowly filling up and it's about to tip like over on them. On them. Uh, <laughs> bro, that's where all the bad uh, Puerto Ricans. Me. Yo, Puerto Ricans love amusement parks. And I get it because so do I. But it's like whenever you go there, that's all you see, bro. Bunch of Hispanics. Yeah, what do you think that is? What do you think is drawing them to it? Well, you know what? I think that goes back to um, the Caribbean, like, maybe. Yeah, the Caribbean. You know, island life is kind of represented a little bit in water parks. It's <laughs> a marriage of the sea and the land. Yeah. You know? The thing about conquist- conquistadors, you know what I'm saying? They like adventures. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah. They would, they would come from Spain over, all the way over here, just for an adventure, bro. Yeah, it's got, it's got to feel like home. Standing on a giant plastic pirate ship made for four-year-olds as a <laughs> fat-ass <laughs> fat. Latina. <laughs> it's got to connect you to your roots somehow, you know? Hell yeah. <laughs> Maybe there's racial undertones behind the lazy river. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these fucking Mexicans floating around. <laughs> Yo. Dude, the fucking siesta grande. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, nah, man, they work hard. They can go to a water park afterwards. Yeah, you know? hey, right. Come on, man. They work hard. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but nothing but Hispanics at, at amusement parks. Yeah, though. I mean, they are pretty religious, too, though. You know, it lines true. up. Yeah, true. You know what I realized about Mexicans, though? <laughs> Mexicans are hardworking people. Mm. Um, but, bruh, they get fucked up like nobody I've ever seen in my life. Like, they get drunk before they do everything. It's work hard, play hard. Yes. On the on the Mexican thing. Bruh, uh, they get drunk before they play soccer. Like, they'll get off work, go buy <laughs> cases of beers, and then play soccer while getting drunk. It's like, bruh, that's just yeah. not fun. Dude, their 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 entire day consists of driving around in a U-Haul truck that's had half of a coat of primer painted over yep. all the U-Haul branding, mm-hmm. just kind of moving broken appliances around in yeah. high vis vests, and they're crushing Coronas before they even yes. get back to the grill. <laughs> crushing and Coronas, just smoking Coronas, sitting on the front steps, uh, like thirty five people at a time. Yes, grill grill uh, security chained to the front steps. I mean, yeah. It's the it's the most work hard play hard lifestyle in, on the planet. I tell you what, if there was a league that did drunk out of shape sports, Mexicans would win every time. If you had drunk out of shape sports, bro, 
Mexi- Mexicans dominate. If you got to get drunk before Dude, you play a sport, they're going to win. If they had soccer and work boots. Bro, oh my God, it's over. <laughs> Mexico win that championship every year. Every fucking year. Shit, work boots, they in their chancletas. You know what I'm saying? They in them Jones. They in their chancletas. Yeah. Doing fucking soccer and yeah, work, they've, bro. They've been welding in sandals all day. All day, bro. <laughs> <need a> boot. <laughs> Let's drop up to go play soccer. Uh, hell yeah. <laughs> Bunch of sparks coming off their feet and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hard ass feet, bro. Mexico's got hard feet. Damn. Yeah. It's crazy. Riding your BMX to work in a kitchen with your girlfriend on the pegs. <laughs> yeah, bro. You both work at the restaurant. Yo, they girlfriend always work where they work. Girlfriend, girlfriend <laughs> always. They ride, dude, they hop on the BMX together, both wearing aprons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God bless him. You don't know if it's his girlfriend or his mom. You're like, what the fuck is this? Who, who is she to you? <laughs> this little um, square re- refrigerator bitch you got. George, can you click the top link? So I tried to do research on fat gay retards for Tim. Oh, nice. Man, I found That's an interesting cool. article. Uh, they wouldn't let me read the whole article. I just got to get to the abstract. But this is on retarded ejaculation <laughs> in homosexual <laughs> patients. <laughs> a report of nine cases. A report of nine oh, cases. This is what you was fucking... <laughs> oh, my God. You was God. researching this? <laughs> they were like, the Ben really does some high-tech research for this show. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I think we should read every word of this. Yes. Um, yeah, but technically the AO actually would be AO actually to show that retarded ejaculation is defined as the persistent difficulty or inability to ejaculate despite the presence of adequate sexual stimulation and erection. Oh shit, that's not what I thought retarded ejaculation was yeah. at all. <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. I thought he was talking about retarded people beating their dicks. I thought I thought meant, that's what I did for that uh new swimsuit model or <laughs> whatever the fuck. Never mind. I thought that it meant that the cum went into your balls and kind of inflated them like an ingrown oh. hair. <laughs> or like a, you, you know bust, what I mean? How you bust back? Like instead it comes out Instead of combining and shooting out of your penis, it like you know how you ever um, like uh, cough as you're drinking a water and you it goes down yep. the wrong pipe. Mm-hmm. I thought it, your cum was going down the wrong pipe. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. You bust out your nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, baby. <laughs> Isn't there such thing as people that bust out their ass? I heard that's a thing. I heard it is people that bust back. Birds, birds do. Birds, they do. Yeah, yeah, they they bust out. They have one hole. It's oh, yeah, for busted do. shit and everything. What? I thought it's that people that do that go too. Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, if your shit and your piss came out all one hole, that's disgusting. Um, so I did read the article. It is a lot of technical jargon, but they were doing. They were trying to figure out if gay people had more retarded ejaculations than straight people. Mm-hmm. And at yeah, the end of the day, they figured out that gay people have more retarded ejaculations, but having retarded ejaculations doesn't mean like it's. It doesn't mean you're gay if you have retarded ejaculations. Yeah, more gay people have retarded ejaculations than straight people. You know what I mean? So technically, a retarded ejaculation is just when you can't bust. So you can get hard, but you can't bust, But you right? can't bust, yeah. Yeah, not every Despite gay person's a fat retard, but every fat <laughs> retard is a gay person. <laughs> <laughs> the presence of adequate sexual stimulation and erection. Okay, so you can get hard, but you can't You come. can't bust. Oh, imagine. That's, that's like a, a Twilight problem, Zone. Though. That's, that's a, a good No, problem. that's a Twilight Zone episode. Ladies would love you if you couldn't bust. They would hate that. Well, eventually, they yes. don't want a dude that's not gonna bust. First of all, it 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 impacts their self esteem like a meteor. It does. It leaves a fucking crater they in their hate psyche when you can't bust. And also, they don't want to. And then they act like it's like you hate them. Yeah, they're like is everything yeah. okay? Am I it's doing like, something wow, wrong? Wow, am I not good enough? Yeah, yeah. And then they do. You're right. After seriously, if you're if you're hitting 15 minutes in vagina sex, like she's looking at the clock. Yeah, for real. <laughs> she's going, okay, well now I got to fucking get a prescription for UTI medicine. This yeah. is never gonna fucking end. True. Especially if they hate if, especially if she come if she came already, she, re- she now she's looking like, bro, this had to end soon. Now she's just like, dude, are you serious? Like, I'm like, about to dry out, nigga. You gotta yep. you gotta do this now. Yeah, like, yeah you're and right. If you yo. even think about spitting on me, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> I already come. Do you think I want fucking spit on me? Yeah. You, you could have spit on me maybe seven and a half minutes ago and it might have flown, but no, we're not doing it. Yes. Oh yeah, after they come, they straight to the yo, hurry up and finish, bro. You like, damn. You were just a freak two minutes ago. That's over. It's crazy. Um, one interesting thing. I said the very bottom, I think. The very bottom. I thought this was interesting. Wait, go up a little bit so I can read it. Nope. Down a little. George. Right. That one. You know George's right. not good at scrolling? <laughs> He's not good at scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> he goes way up or way down. All right. um, I thought this, okay. Our study was undertaken to address the need for data and systemic research into ethological variables and tr- 
wait, ah, damn it. Okay, it's above this one. Okay, concluded that retarded ejaculation showed, so people that are retarded ejaculators show significantly more anxiety, depression, and general psychopathology. That makes sense because that's probably stopping them from bussing is all that shit going on. I would on seriously be screaming every waking moment if I couldn't come. <laughs> if, <laughs> if, if I could get hard, first of all, if I couldn't get hard and also not come, I'd be probably a tough hang. If I could get hard and was unable to come, I would wake up with clenched fists <laughs> screaming. <laughs> It's like the movie Seven where they those, made the guy the not dudes, able to shit. Those are the dudes <laughs> that stand on the bus and don't move when you're trying to walk past them and then they bump your shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are dudes that can't they come. Can't That's bust. exactly who I would be. Oh, bro. I'd listen. be a you got a problem guy. One hundred percent. Imagine. If, if I don't if I don't get like if I don't get one out like a day, I'm fucked up, bro. I'm I'm my I'm, I'm on the edge. Murder is on the mind. <laughs> Bruh. I'm stand. I'm literally on the edge. Like if somebody do some shit to me, bro, I'm ready. You see what I'm saying? I could imagine not ever being able to bust. I thought it was interesting though the psychopathology though. It makes you more likely to be a psychopath. I it yeah. makes perfect sense. To me. Yeah, definitely it. interesting. But that tracks. It does track 100 percent with exactly what I imagine for myself. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. If you can't bust, true. Because then psychopaths are just looking for like crazy ways to bust. They're like, maybe if I murder this girl, then you know what I mean. Ooh. Ooh, but then what if you bust when you? Mur- That's how serial killers are. Born. That's how that. Yeah. I forget who it was. It was. I remember hearing it was one of those serial killers. That, that is what it's happened. Sh- like, he was expected, but as soon as he killed the guy, he just came. He and just started coming. Yeah. Yep. That's crazy. Crazy. I, I forget which one that was. Do you know who it was? I. Oh. Not a, not um. Ed Gein, was it him? It was either Gein or Dahmer or, or Gacy the guy that cut his mom's head off. Gacy, Gacy, yeah, Gacy Ed Gein cut his mom's head off. It might have been. Ed or it was Gein. the fat guy that cut his head, guy his head off. He cut his mom's head off. That's Ed Gein, the, the big ass fat guy, mm-hmm. tall uh-huh. fat guy. Yeah. Mm. And he was like, no, it's the guy that he looks like a fat Tim Butterly. He has the glasses. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Whatever. Oh, uh, he was in a movie, or they did something. Oh, you talking about um, Wayne? <laughs> So what What's his it's name? Fun. Ed Kemper. Ed Kemper. That, I was, that's what I was thinking about. Ed, Ed Kemper. Kemper the tall, I think he ca- he came yeah. as soon as he killed a girl for the first time. He does look like Tim. He does look like he got really bit, fat Tim, Tim Butterly. Yeah. Don't, do not pull that up, actually. <laughs> do not pull that nah. up. Hey, yo, nah. Um, hey, yo, nah. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this beforehand. We said we weren't going to do this. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. No, I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> No, that guy? No. Uh, hey, Kipper, bro. Yeah, he, he's, like, killed his mom. I think he hit my glasses around her. No, but he stopped. <laughs> you know what's crazy about him? <laughs> Yo, to, to, to not go to the face and go to the glasses? No, I think my glasses are a little bit rounder than that. But... But you know, you know he helped the FBI catch a whole lot of serial killers. Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah. And then also, um, I think I did... I know, two fun facts about the guy. The one is that he killed a bunch of girls up until the last person he killed with his mo- was his mom. Yeah, yeah. He said after he killed her, he stopped having any urges. He didn't want to so. kill anybody else because his mom was mean as fuck to him. Yeah. His mom was like super evil to him when he was a kid. Yeah. 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 Sometimes you just got to. He should just kill her first and then he would have killed all the other people. Yeah. Sometimes they you just got to let your kid kill you, you know? <laughs> Looks like he's having right. fun there. If your kid wants to kill you, you should let him kill you because you pro- you did a lot of things wrong. True. Otherwise, None you're None of my kids want to kill me, bro. They love me. Yeah. I'd rather him kill at home than be in the, out in the streets. <laughs> at least I know where he is. <laughs> at least I know. Treat him like a drug addict. All right. <laughs> just kill here. You don't got to go outside and kill. And then uh, the other fun fact I know about him is for the rest of his life in prison, he just would read audiobooks all day. Mm-hmm. So there's like huge. There's so many audiobooks with his, with his um, yeah. you know, Mike Rainey told me that. Oh, yeah? Yep, yep. True. There's so many audiobooks with him narrating them. Because he's got like a soft, soothing, yeah, serial killer voice. voice. Yeah. yeah. And, and he's very personable. Like the FBI, when they, were inter- when they interviewed him, they were like, we just like this guy. <laughs> yeah. He's just such wow. a likable guy. You're like, right. He is just like me. <laughs> <laughs> right. We are exactly the same, except for that one thing. Yeah. I mean, and he's like 6'9". <laughs> except for one thing. Nice. He's, like, he's like seven feet tall. The one thing missing is Tim hasn't killed his mom yet. That's the only thing. <laughs> yeah. I, I missed my fucking chance. <laughs> it's all good, man. Don't worry about it. Don't be well, yourself I'll kill up someone about else. It. I'm sure I'll get around to it. <laughs> when I have time. I always say I'm going to have time to eventually kill a lady, but... Yeah, they have to be the most not busy people so in the world. busy, man. Yeah. Damn, so I wonder if he was a... If he had retarded Ejax. You see what I'm saying? He Looking looks, at this guy's face, probably not. Yeah, he looks kind of happy. He looks like he's retarded ejaculated right now. <laughs> 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 yeah, he seems like a cool guy, honestly. <clears throat> yeah. Anything about like this, bro. If you 6'9", like... 280, 270 pounds. How, it's so easy for you to accidentally kill people. 
You big as fuck. It's you so can like easy. mice and mend them. Yeah, bro. You can lay on top of somebody and they die. Yeah. yeah. It's so easy to kill somebody if you if you're that big. Do you reach for something and you elbow a lady in the head and it fucking destroys her <laughs> spinal cord? Yeah, bro. And, and then you a bust. Million times. And then you and come then your you pants. Bust. Oh no. <laughs> Well, guess I live at the supermarket now where I can accidentally kill ladies and come every day. <laughs> guess I could just keep fucking tomahawking these old women and nutting Yo, in my pants. <laughs> Damn. They'll never catch on to me. Just accidentally killing people is crazy. <laughs> Damn, all right, come on, let me do one. All right. Let me get one, bro. Y'all having all the fun with the facts. Sorry, man. All right, let's start at the top. Sorry to hog. I'm going to go in order. Uh, okay, this fact comes from... Hello, guys. That's the end of the fucking free episode. We, sorry, we had to sell out. We need. We did sell out. We did. We need money. We this, need things. We don't want, I don't want to have to, me and Ben Stop have day jobs. Do you see how silly we are? We're going to get fired any day now. So I we, am almost fired almost every day. Same. Yeah. So we need to figure out a way to make money. We do film at 3 a.m. and it is cutting into my sleep schedule. Yes, we film so late at night. We 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 research facts while we're at work. I got pulled into the office earlier today and they said, Naeem, why are you looking at all these goddamn facts all day? Do your fucking job. And I was like, all right, I'm sorry. So I'm going to get fired. So because of that, the rest of this episode is on Patreon. This is like PBS going behind a paywall. It is. But <laughs> it's, only, it's like Elmo with an OnlyFans. What is our membership? Two, three dollars? Come on, bro. Y'all got three dollars to pay for the fucking <laughs> three bucks. Three dollars is nothing. Do you know what you do with three dollars? Huh. A gallon of gas is more than three dollars. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A pack of backwoods, more than three dollars. <laughs> pack of bacon, bro. I know what fuckers that eat a pack of bacon in one sitting. Raisin bran. Six dollars. You know what you're talking about right now? You're like, we're Come in a mass on, inflation. Bro. No, my bad, my bad. But three dollars, bro. Everybody got three dollars to see the rest of our fucking episode. Like, come on. You're not going to learn these types of facts. And it's, and, and it's extra funny. So watch it. Just pay three dollars to watch it real quick. Mm -hmm. But yeah, y'all. Click on the Patreon link. So you can see the rest of the episode. It's very funny. You don't want to miss it. We said some very inappropriate things. I told secrets about Shane Gillis. <laughs> Look it up. Click on the Patreon. Oh, yeah. It, it switches to secrets. Secrets is the up. That's the Patreon. It's all secrets about all the people that we respect and admire. So tune in. Click on the fucking link. Do it now. Subscribe.